two cooks in the kitchen. This will be a Southern Indian lamb curry. Delicious dish, lots of big, bold flavors. We've got our spice mix. We've got two onions, some ginger, a, a head of garlic, and some kind of chili. And I'm using a very small red ricotto chili. I expect that that's still gonna leave this pretty mild, but I want Kelly to be able to eat it. So that's what we're doing. Cause you're the best um, husband ever. I would actually, you know, if it was just me, there'd be a lot more heat going in. It's called for five large tomatoes, roughly chopped. So that's what we've got. It looks like a lot of tomatoes, but we'll see what happens here. And did I mention our spice mix? Yes. So anyway, the lamb. We have this five pound leg of lamb from Costco. It's a great deal. You, and we need about three pounds of it or a little less. So I'm just gonna cut that off and we're gonna freeze the rest and use it for another dinner later. And I, I do expect this will make more than one dinner of our curry here. So the lamb, we're just gonna cut into chunks and it just, it kind of depends on what you like. I like to get a good sized bite. I like to get a good sized bite, so I'm going to be cutting this into a fairly large chunk. I'd say about like, about like that. And uh, we'll just, I'll just cut all this up and all our ingredients will be ready and we'll start cooking. All right, so we're going to start with our spice mix into our spice grinder. We will put one and a half tablespoons of coriander, seeds, that is, one and a half tablespoons of fennel seeds, one and a half tablespoons of cumin seed, and one and a half tablespoons of cloves. You know, you could, I'm sure, use powdered spices for this, but I think you get a little more flavor if you start with the whole seed and grind it up. So that's what we're going for. And one and a half tablespoons of turmeric. So we are going to grind that up. But before I do that, I'm going to start my pan. I'm going to go on about a medium heat here with some coconut oil. A lot of coconut used in Southern Indian cooking because it grows up. Um, so we will grind this up and then we're going to add this to our pan. We're gonna let this cook for a while. You can uh, you can tell it gets very very fragrant. Um, makes the whole house smell like something delicious is about to happen. Actually, fills a neighborhood sometimes too. Yep. <laughs> and to this, we are gonna add two bay leaves and one cinnamon stick. And if we had them, we would add like ten curry leaves. We just don't happen to have any. Uh, sometimes the co-op has them uh, fresh, but they didn't have any today. And uh, I I really need to just order a whole bunch of them and keep them like we keep bay leaves, but I haven't done that. So we're doing without the curry leaves this time. And we've done that in the past. It works out just fine. But... So we're gonna let this cook. This is gonna be about 10 minutes or so to get these spices all aromatic. And then we'll come back and add our lamb. All right, so our spices are very aromatic. You see it starting to smoke a little bit here. We're gonna drop in our lamb. 
and get this browned in the spices. This beautiful thing. Oh yeah. That's gonna go well here. Mm -hmm. And while that's browning, we are going to take our onion and <laughs> garlic and ginger and chili and pepper. Rainbow. And we're gonna put it in the food processor. And we're, we're gonna make a paste of this. It just goes right in the pan with everything else. So a lot of puddings start with cooking the onion. This is a little different. That looks pretty good. And once our meat is brown, we'll add that to the pan and then we're gonna try and cook some of the moisture out of that. And, uh, and you can see this is coming along nicely. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that smells so good. All right, we'll come back when the meat's browned a little and add our onions. All right, so uh, the meat's got a nice little brownness going to it. Let's add our onion mixture here. And <clears throat> this is gonna add quite a bit of moisture to this dish and we're gonna cook some of that out before we add the tomatoes, which will accomplish the same thing. This is gonna cook for about 10 minutes. Before we add the tomatoes, which will be the last thing. So while this type of dish may sound like it's super adventurous, um, it's not that difficult and everybody loves it. It's just really good. The only thing to watch out for is the amount of heat you put into it um, because that's what makes it so not everybody loves it. But, uh, Choose your audience, I guess. Yeah. But this is, uh, and you can always add uh, heat later. You could uh, dice up some chilies and just add them to your own bowl. This is kind of what I do. I have a hot sauce that I make, and I'll be putting liberal amounts of it on here. All right, we'll let this go for about 10 minutes. We'll come back and add the tomatoes. All right, so, uh, you know, the thing about these rainbows, we have crystals in our living room, and they're there all year long, but from about October to March, the sun shines through there pretty good, and we really do get a lot of lovely rainbows. Um, we're going to add our tomatoes, and that's the last ingredient that's going in here until we're ready to serve when we'll add some yogurt. Um, but... What we're expecting here is that the tomatoes are going to cook down and become somewhat of a, uh, a sauce for this dish. It's really smelling good and it looks great to look at that. Something you'd be happy to serve to your family. How long are you going to cook that? This is probably going to cook for about an hour. I think I'll leave the lid to slightly askew. We'll come back and see what it's like in about an hour and uh, see if we want to cook it more. All right, so to go with our uh, lamb stew, we are going to serve a raita. There are many, many ways to make raita. Um, I chose one where we have all the ingredients. We just bought a cucumber today, and so we will be making a cucumber raita. One of the purposes of Reita is to uh, kind of calm down your mouth a little bit after eating all the spicy food. And another purpose is uh, to help with your digestion. Um, so this is one teaspoon of cumin seed, a 
was put into a dry pan and we're just toasting it and you want to toast it until you can smell the fragrance and it it really is a very pronounced smell um, and and we're there <laughs> so as they say you can't miss it so I'm gonna put about half of these in my grinder and I'm gonna save the other half for garnish so these ground up okay, and I have here about a cup probably of uh, cubed cucumber. I'm going to put that in. And one little carton of yogurt. Not vanilla. Yes, definitely plain yogurt. And we'll mix that together, add a little salt and pepper, and our cumin. And that's the entire thing. And then we'll chill this until it's time to serve it because you really do want this served cold. So let's get a sprinkle of salt in here. And some pepper. And our cumin. And then we'll add on our cumin garnish. Oh, look at that, isn't that party? There you have it, Rita. All right, so here's our stew, our Southern Indian lamb curry, served up on coconut, Saffron rice. Easy for you to say. Coconut saffron rice with our reta. And let's see what a bite tastes like. You forgot your hot sauce. I'm going to add that later because. Oh, this is really nice. It's got the warm, all those spices over the time that it cooked and I did cook this for about two hours um, they just melded together in there and it's warm and comforting and it, this is a very very good dish um, I want to I didn't even taste the rate of it yeah that'll calm it down if, if you need that um, I'm going to have to add some hot sauce to it, but Kelly is going to tell me that this is hot. So, <laughs> well, your mileage may vary. Anyway, thanks for watching Two Cooks in the Kitchen. We'll see you next time.